okay today we'll discuss uh, displacement time graph class 9 and uh, that is uh, cbc okay cbc is is books you can understand so this picture so displacement time graph here displacement time you know that what is displacement and displacement that means the actual distance or distance covered from one position to other position in a particular direction or the shortest path shortest path from one position to other position gotte jagar aur jagar jagar okay shortest path okay shortest path from one position to other position that is known as displacement and displacement has a direction particular direction okay and that is the shortest path and you put the uh, put arrow mark arrow mark in the d the symbol is d you are using that is put arrow marks now you like this this is a this is displacement okay how now we are writing d that is distance distance and displacement that is different thing so distance is actual length covered by the body suppose uh, you are going from kurda to bhuvneswar okay kurda to bhuvneswar so suppose uh, 20 km in a straight line but again kurda to bhuvneswar it is uh, not 20 km it is uh, maybe 50 km maybe 80 km maybe 90 km because different different direction it distance will be changed but in uh, one position to other position the displacement is uh, i having particular direction that is shortest path one point to other point the shortest path is having particular direction okay so you know that one distance and displacement suppose i just one second describe a this is b so a to b suppose 20 km right a to b 20 km but a to b through this path it may be 40 km so we can say that is 40 km you i can say that is distance not displacement because from a to b direct shortest path is 20 km that is displacement okay so that displacement and time graph related we do some pictures some graphs okay now in displacement time graph if the graph is like this what can you say about this if the graph in a graph if the time axis that means x axis horizontal row if the time axis is parallel to the time axis is parallel to the graph if the graph is parallel to the time axis we can say the body is at rest is very very important okay remember the body are is at rest if the time axis if the graph is not parallel to the time axis not parallel to the displacement axis then we can say the body is moving with uniform motion okay time axis or displacement axis okay you all are i think most of the people here listening me okay some are getting me because uh, you know some english and if you not able to understand please uh, you can understand in odia language also okay so here you see this the displacement axis or time axis the tax axis the graph ta parallel thibo are bujhi parcho ne bhale dhyan dei bujho hala je tu mai odisha raucho tu mane odia bhasha bujhi parcho mo kotha thik bujhi paribo okay mo because i am teaching specially some odisha students uh, you can all also i'm telling in the english also you can understand okay no problem but for your better understanding i'm telling like this okay some regional language is very very important that's why i'm telling so displacement and time the displacement got a graph re if in a graph the graph is parallel to the time axis then the body is at rest how suppose look at here suppose this is 1 2 3 in one hour the body is moving here body is 5 km okay so this graph shows that so 1 hour 5 km 2 hour also 5 km 3 hour also 5 km the time is increasing but distance same 5 km that means the body is at rest but equal job the time body jao chi body same position chi so this graph shows that what the body is at rest because the graph is parallel to the time axis okay similarly if this graph look at here this graph shows that when the time is 1 2 3 4 5 time is increasing simultaneously simultaneously displacement also increasing 1 hour 2 km 2 hour 4 km 3 hour 6 km 4 hour 8 km like that so equal distance equal interval so we can say this graph shows that uniform motion uniform uniform motion right this is your what body is at rest and this is uniform motion understood one the graph from the graph a displacement time graph if the graph is parallel to the time axis you can say that body is at rest if the graph is neither parallel to the time axis nor parallel to the displacement axis then you can say body is at uniform motion now here look at here if uh, this type graph in a zigzag way 
So if in zigzag way, if there's the picture, then you can say that the body is not in uniform motion. That is non-uniform motion. So in every hour, every one hour, so it covers unequal displacement covered. Unequal displacement covered means the body first one hour, 20 kilometer. Next one hour, the 10 kilometer. Next three hour, 5 kilometer. In there is different, different distance. In there. It covered in a same equal interval of time or equal interval of time. Okay. So three situations I told. One is rest. One is uniform motion. That is non-uniform motion. Non-uniform motion. Non-uniform motion. Understood? So based on this displacement time graph, now in the next video, exactly in the next video, I will explain how the displacement time graph can prove the equation of linear motion. Linear motion means when the body is moving in a straight line. On that linear motion, the three equations we can explain here. That what? Three equations. One second. Three equations that is V is equal to U plus AT. S is equal to UT plus half AT square. And V square is equal to U square plus 2S. So, this three, these three equations I will explain in the next video. Here only you got displacement, time graph, different different type of natures of the graph. One is parallel to the axis, one is neither parallel to any axis and one is what? That is zigzag way. Okay. So that is your three types of graphs, displacement, time graph. Okay. Finished.